Hey, how's it going? This is the Argonaut, and we're here with the defenders of the Karen, and we shall defend against the executors of the fire of the great purpose. That's a terrible army name. Light the fires! Let them die upon these burning pits. Alright. So, currently, we have ourselves set up. Like so. We got our uh, spearmen up front here, the archers in the back, um, and then we have two other spearmen on the flank here. Our, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, actual Parthian spearmen in the back here, and then we have our noble cataphracts. So we'll see how the defenders of the Karen do. So, currently, we are targeting down their horse archers who decided to ride forth into a hail of arrows. We'll see how that goes for the horse archers. Probably not well. Now they do have two units of Persian archers and a Parthian noble horse archer. Um, and then just a ton of Parthian axemen. Alright, we're already starting to break these guys with some good old-fashioned concentrate fire. We are getting some archer fire into our Parthian militia, but honestly, that's, that's the best target. I just don't want them firing at our own archers because we need them to kill these fools. All right, so we've broken both units of horse archers, and we'll see what we can do. So we're gonna go ahead, line up again, and start firing at those archers. The foot archers, seeing what we can do damage-wise. We've already killed about 10 of them, and at least uh, they're gonna waltz right through these flames. All right, over on this flank, we've set up some barricades to uh, pin them into going this way. Hopefully that's successful. And I also put up some barricades here because I'm gonna do a little cheeky swing over with my archers and then fire into the flank. So I've begun moving them. Yeah, with the uh, <laughs> casualties in the Parthian militia is starting to rack up. But now, now burn you fools. I, burn, come on, come on. Well, they're just, uh, they're just waltzing. Oh, okay, we got one. Wow, they, they are much worse than I thought they were. I mean, I guess it makes sense that they would avoid the flaming pits. Sort of just slows them down. <laughs> That's pretty lame. Now, slightly different with the uh, spike traps, I think. Maybe. No, it looks like it's not really killing many of them. <laughs> I don't know if that's a little glitchy, but hey, whatever. All right, that's fine. So. They come forward. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and support with my Persian spearmen as they move in to attack. So, we have swung around the corner here, and we're gonna go ahead and open up. And boom into their flank. Well, at least that'll kill one. Okay. So, over this way, not much is happening as far as trying to get around here. This is one guy's trying to break this down. That's gonna take forever. So, we have engaged. Are in combat. These Parthian axemen probably going to do pretty well against our spearmen, but my hope is that we can hold them out, or hold out against them as long as we can, and get all that archer fire. So, we started targeting the general, and uh, it seems with weight of fire, eventually we will bring down a few with our archers. So, we'll see how this goes, that we are already starting to get some breaks. Um, Alright, at least we have uh, supporting units here, spearmen ready to move in. I pop it in Spire, and uh, it only, okay, then we then we move in to uh, attack, so at least the Inspire will be helpful here. And I decide, alright, let's just do it, time to bring around the Cataphracts. So, probably should have gone around, I guess it didn't matter which way I went, I kind of blocked off support, so, it is what it is. These uh, Axemen are going to do quite well, but we are starting to really rack up the kills here. Um, if you can see, the General lost about, you know, 19. 20, which is pretty decent uh, for just archer fire. Killing their own archers, and I'm going to change targets soon enough. Yep, just did. Back onto the general. He's down to 63 already. Spearmen doing their work. They're getting hit pretty hard, but we'll see. Alright, we're already starting to lose some militia. I'm having to bring in the townsfolk, and that's looking pretty bad. So, I'm going to head and bring around the cataphracts. And the general's starting to get beat down a little bit. These guys don't have the best morale, 50. I mean, it's probably better than what we're rocking, but I'm hoping with uh, 
the death of their general if we can kill him with arrow fire. Um, that might swing the battle in our favor, but we'll see. So we got over 100 kills on pretty much all of them. About to be. Yeah, they are crushing! All those sweet, sweet archers. I just really hope we can hold here. But the general down to 34. Casualties sustained down to 30. Red morale there. And already getting some red morale here just from the sheer volume of archer fire. We're about to break the general. Getting a little more confident, are we, men? And, ah, over here, yes. <laughs> just crushed into them. And I'm like, all right, well, they're going to die. So we're going to go ahead and move on past them. And we broke the general, finally, which is great. Just look, these are all from the archers. Absolutely brutal. So we're getting some pretty poor morale here, and I'm thinking, hey, we might do this. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, bring the uh, cavalry around. And let's see what we do here. Crushing into those guys, making sure they're out. And I think we're gonna get some rear charges. If we can, if we can get this horse moving, come on, buddy, come on! Wow, <laughs> didn't even uh, didn't even get really a good charge there. But hey, still we've got quite a bit of kills. Pop a rally, which is uh, great to support our morale. They're feeling confident though. They see their enemies wavering. Archers here, 250 kills on the Parthian archers here. Yeah, absolutely brutal. And here's the charge we're looking for. Crushing into them. Racking up the kills there, and that's going to be a brutal nail in the coffin for the attackers. So I was hopeful we'd be able to do it, and it seems we were successful. Only a little pocket of resistance left, and with the cataphracts roaming free, nothing to oppose them. Not even any spearmen. We throw a fire arrow there, and boom. Starting to break them. And there we go. So long story short here, we're going to go ahead, break these last two units. Nice little charge from the cataphracts. Just kind of pop in, pull out, and swing back in. Actually, yeah, I think at this point, I go ahead and chase down as many as I can. And boom. Plowing into them. And that's going to be it. We take them out. Take out uh, whatever we can with the cataphracts, and it's a victory for Parthia in a valiant defense. And get wrecked. Aha! All right, did quite well. Yeah, we had 627, mostly prisoners, on the general. 203 on the archers there. The archers did very well. Yeah, all over 200 kills. Pretty brutal. We'll uh, release captives. Maybe they'll look kindly upon us. We shall see. Ah, and now these fools come to face us. So they have some archers, bunch of garbage. Yeah, we're gonna win this one, but let's go ahead and find it out. I would not wish to be anywhere else either. We are here defending a rather similarly laid out city. Hmm, interesting. Deja vu. Uh, and a very similar scenario. So, we go ahead, set a light to the fire pits, and uh, hopefully kill a few of these guys. At least this time we have slingers, and they have worse infantry. So, aha, yes, that's right. Die, die, you fool. You too, come on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, that did pretty well. Um, so we've set these, these uh, flames alight, and with the combined effort of our slingers and archers, we should be able to quickly dispatch the skirmisher calf. Uh, the only thing we do have to worry about is they have Mardian archers who are pretty solid. Seven shots per minute, 175 range, versus, uh, you know, our Parthian archers. Um, yep, yeah, actually pretty comparable. We have more more ammunition, though. But the slingers, they should, uh, should do quite well. So over here, we go ahead and take out the skirmisher calf, and, uh, well... Seems like we're gonna get the whole situation again where we get stuck in. But this time, I'm gonna get some charges. For honor! For honor. For honor. Defend your lands! Go you ahead, move out. Get a charge against the townsfolk here, pinning them against the barricade. Boom! Oh, oh, that was terrible. 
I love it. All right, getting some firing in. Targeting the general here and the Mardian archers. Who, uh, 30 armor, it's pretty nice. But uh, they sent in the town smoke first and they're just getting annihilated. Um, absolutely crushed. So they don't have much else for infantry, so I'm feeling pretty confident here. And I believe with our weight of fire, we should be able to take care of these guys. We have our own horse archers over here, and I actually bring over the noble cataphracts. Oh, sorry. Um, noble horse archers as well. Go ahead and get some charges, hopefully take out these Mardians. So we go ahead, seeing our charges. Crushing in. Crushing in again. Being a little more aggressive here. Hopefully we can break these guys and then swoop around. But uh, over this way at least we got a good amount of damage on the general so far. Archers are still looking pretty fresh though. So are these guys. So they're going to start bringing their, uh, their arrows to bear. Seems like they're picking on my slingers. And doing so pretty confidently. Over here at least the uh, Parthian horsemen getting a few shots in and then rumbling around the corner here. We have the mighty general firing over the buildings. How they can even see, I don't know. But there's their target. Ready? Gonna rumble forward, hop into a wedge formation. Get our charges. They sense their demise, they try to break over the barricades. But it is of no use. All right. And just like that, whoosh, the kills fly up. All right, over this way, we've broken these two. We've broken through the uh, Levy Spearmen as well. And we're gonna keep pushing. Uh, we've targeted down the archers here, targeting the other group now as well. The uh, general, I believe, was dispatched. Their weight of fire. And we've killed, pretty much taken care of these Mardians. We're gonna do a cycle charge and hopefully take them out. But uh, pretty solid defense so far, and it's looking very favorable for us. And let's just get this charge yet again. <laughs> They're like, please, can we? Oh, God. Oh, so many horses. Oh, it's beautiful. And there they go. And with this much left, it's uh, going to be a pretty, pretty obvious outcome here. So we go ahead, take out the rest of these fools. Um, we're gonna get some rear charges in. Uh, send out the horse archers to go wrap up uh, those who are fleeing, and there we are. There's a victory. So we spend the rest of the time hunting down casualties and crushing the rebels. And that's how you take care of that. Pretty brutal, I'd say. Um, we'll take the money. And death. To those who oppose. That's what's up. Alright, got our spy back. Increase in rank. Rival banquet. Okay, loyalty, good. Uh, okay, let's see here. So, we have our spy back. He is going to head this direction. Hurry up now, hurry up now. Okay. Let's check some things real quick. Are these guys still way more powerful? Yes, they are. Dahe Confederation. The door is open to you. Wow, you won't you won't have peace with us, huh? I will listen. Nope. Okay. Well then we'll have to kill you all. Ready for battle. Okay, so we've got the black quivers here. Um let's see. Could attempt to let's see. Minus upkeep for mercenaries, no. Um, let's see. Minus non-mercenary unit recruitment costs. Okay, up. So that, that does get us upkeep. Let's give him a camp administrator. That sounds good to me. You guys, let's see, who else ranked up? We have the Black Quivers. Ah, yes, very good. So, missile damage and shots per minute increases our upkeep. Campaign map movement, melee attack seal for all cavalry. Hmm. Shots per minute for all light cav. Movement speed for all light cav. That could be nice. Let's see. Weapon damage. 
Hmm. Let's increase our map movement range. And let's see. We could get some defenses, which might be nice, honestly, if we are defending. Morale for all units. It's ready armies. Hmm. Let's go for that. Okay, let me just double check. Does this guy have... He does not have Knight Commander. Our king has Knight Commander. So, I think what we're going to do... Let's see, do we want Four Slingers? Four Slingers is probably good. Honestly, what I might do... I don't really like these guys. So I might swap them out for these two. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do everybody else. Okay. And then we're going to swap them for all that. Except for, we'll keep uh, ones, we'll, we'll keep, let's see. We'll keep you guys and do that. Mitra, watch over me. Okay. We'll move towards enemy territory. Let's see, we still have pretty good public order. Okay. My lord. I don't know if I want to move quite into their territory yet. Let's move up there. We'll keep our replenishment going. And I think what we'll do is uh, we're going to hang out. I think we're going to hang out like right... Well, hmm. Can't really see. That's the problem. Ideally... I'd like to get some eyes out over there. Does he increase our campaign map movement? Because that'll be the... Oh, he does. Okay. So we're not going to do that. How may I, serve Parthia? I don't trust you guys, but you guys won't be able to make it down in this turn. So... Hmm. Let's just walk over here. Hop patrol. Alright. So, we got our... Armies here looking pretty solid. Um, yeah. Ready for battle. Let's go ahead and crush the rest of these guys. We'll release captives. All right. Let's see here. Um, let's do map movement. Yeah, we'll do map movement. That's probably a good idea. And then... Well, armor and defense for spear units. That could be nice. Or... Yeah, we'll do royal guard. That's fine. And then use uh, melee attack skill. We could uh, probably head towards this. Get some local bonuses. Increase our research rate, increase our public order and tax rate. It's probably a good idea. Get some good financials going. Alright. We have a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, because I would like to go and attack Bukhara. Or Amul, I'm not sure. Alright, let's end the turn. Alright. Ride of the capital. Ooh. Let's uh, crush the right. <laughs> All right, veteran increase in rank. That's good. Let's uh, let's see. He's got his. Oh no, not quite. Um, commit arson. Income from raiding. Hmm. Chance of evading enemy agents. Let's see. Plus four public order in local province when deployed. Nah. Ooh, let's go for this. That sounds good to me. And let's go ahead and move in to Bactrian territory. Okay, so they have an army of Greek colonists here. Same with these guys. We move over here. Bukhara has a whole other army. Okay. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We could try and fortify. Yeah, I just don't like our chances there. Um, 
Could get some mercenaries, but we don't have enough money to keep that going. We can take out this one army. Let's see, these guys probably got a bunch of crap. Light cav, that's not bad. Actually, they're pretty decent. Tell you what, let's move this army back over this way. You will not be able to reach us in time. So I don't have to worry about getting ambushed. And what we might do is we might... Could post up right here. And hop in an ambush stance. We could see what that, that gets us. Um, we don't need food, so we're okay. Yeah, oof. God, it's just... It's rough times right now, friends. Alright, we're almost fully replenished here. Still doing our thing. Um, we could get another agent, actually. Wanna get another... Dignitary? Minus recruitment cross, increased tax rate. Minus construction. Unit replenishment, growth return, and morale. Let's recruit him. How can I serve you? We'll deploy him there as well. Alright. Uh, I think we're actually ready to go ahead and end the turn again. Not much we can do right now. Alright. Concealed army discovered. Ah! The alliance is broken! Okay. Plus five loyalty for five turns. Alright. Well then. I believe we are on good relations with you there, sir. Before you say anything. Know that I have an amulet ha -ha. against the evil eye. Dark sorcery will gain you naught. Let's demand some payment then, too. Come, come to our warm embrace. Wow. They will pay us 6,000 and join our confederation. I Excellent. Okay. Well... What do we got here? Pretty tiny garrison. They're probably going to be able to take some of our territory. Let's see. All right, we're gonna hustle out of here then. Um, let's see, you guys. We're gonna scoot you over here. Deploy you. All right, what else we got? Not much as far as garrisons go. Okay, so you there. We're gonna move you into a mool, I think. They're not going to be happy for a little bit, but that's okay. We're not taxing them. Oh, that's why. That's why our money's so terrible. Uh, and honestly, I think what we'll probably do is go and attack this army. Just to keep this area safe. Um, we're going to scoot you over into Marv. Okay. We're looking okay so far there. Wow, that was extremely fortunate for us. Alright. Let us move in to attack this army. Okay. I think we can win this. Um, they have a bunch of hillmen. They have some horse archers, but our own archers should be able to take care of them. Uh, and then they just have a bunch of Greek colonists. So, we're going to go ahead and give this a whirl. Let's uh, hit a quick save, and let's fight this out. Forward, men. Charge up the hill and gain good position. We shall fire arrows down upon our enemies, the Bactrian bastards. So, we have uh, formed up as such with half our horse archers over here and half over here, each with a noble horse archer. And then down in the back here, we have all of our slingers and our infantry. So, pretty obvious formation. Oh, and uh, so... Order of operations is to kill the horse archers first, and then proceed to take out any foot skirmishers they have. They have, I think, two Bactrian archers? Might be two, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, we're going to move forward with the slingers and take out as many as we can. So, uh, we're going to go ahead, move in, and start firing away. And with uh, five archers to uh, one, I think this should go quite well for us. This has got a beautiful day to die, isn't it? I think they're getting cheeky and gonna go ahead for a little charge. So I decided, okay, if you wanna do that, let's do it. As you wish. 
And my general just crushes into them. And that's going to be a wrap for them. Uh, same story over here. We're going to go ahead and um, target down these Bactrian Horse Archers. I actually do realize that we have much longer, well, not much longer, a little bit longer range. So I'm going to try and keep them on the maximum end of their range by pulling in, getting the shots that we want, and then pulling away before they can retaliate. Uh, so, over this way, though, uh, the Bactrian Archers move up and start firing. I don't really want to get targeted by Foot Archers, so I decide to continue to pull back and kite them. All the while, uh, trying to isolate Horse Archer units. They should be moving all up at once, but, you know, such is the AI. So, get a few more kills there. We're going to go ahead and target these guys down, but I'm not going to level up here because they'll get targeted by two Archers. I'm going to go ahead and pull back this way so we can keep isolating, doing one at a time. So, goal of getting rid of all the horse archers is going pretty well so far. They only have one kill on my guys, and that's going to be it. And there they go. And now we're going to move up to this corner and target this other archer unit. Pulling back, hoping to um, keep him from getting any good kills. I'm going to go ahead and come over this way, since now pretty much all the horse archers have been taken care of. So, we're getting a few random shots here and there. So, uh... Ah, yes, yeah, so there's a unit of slingers and a unit of archers, I believe. I think that is what it's going on here. Yeah, the archers are right there. General getting cheeky, moving out. I don't really know what you guys are doing. But we go get a nice little free rear shot into the general. Hoping to take out a few of them. And the Bactrian archers move forward. So, I think at this point, um, I do have the... Uh, ah, yes. I have the kinsman cav hiding in the woods here. Ready to pounce at any time. And eventually I do move forward with the Slingers, realizing they're pretty far out of position. So I'm going to go ahead and push forward. Um, pushing back the Slingers and Archers. They don't really have any Javelin units. I think they have uh, Hillmen. Yeah, they have, I think, two or three units of Hillmen. Um, and I make that four. Uh, so they do have a little bit of Javelin power, but again, nothing I'm really that worried about. So we're going to go ahead and kite against them, and you can see I'm moving out the slingers over here. Continue to pull forward, pull back, baiting out the javelin fire, uh, because if we're moving away and they throw, they're much less likely to get any kills. If we stand still, they're just going to murder my horses with javelins. So, I'm uh, not too concerned about saving ammo at this point, just because we have all those slingers. I think we have six units, so it should do quite nicely. Pull forward there. And, again, with some volley fire, should be able to absolutely destroy these fools who dare stand against us. Catching some of the hillmen. They're starting to waver, so we already pop a rally out of him, which is great. And I think we're going to go ahead and target the archers. Alright, so, at this point we have pushed forward with the kinsman cav. And, uh... The archers push forward, and then we swoop around to go and charge them, and it pushes them away from the rest of their army. Um, that's a pretty nice tactic sometimes, to get them to go, because they'll go pretty much directly away from you. So, this allowed me to isolate them without fear of retribution from, uh, or retaliation from the rest of their army. So, go ahead and get a charge in with the noble horse archers. And I accidentally had a little bit of friendly fire there with the uh, <clears throat> slingers, but... Not much we could do about that. Not too worried either, because everything's pretty heavily armored here. So, go ahead and crush that, and with that, all of their range has been completely neutralized. So, we have a little bit of ammunition left, and um, I'm going to prepare it for some rear shots. So, over here, we have our slingers arrayed, ready to fire. So, we're going to get some focus fire onto the hillmen, and uh, I do end up targeting the Sogdians as well because they are pretty nasty in combat against our terrible infantry. Ah, yes, there we are. Beautiful. Come on, come on. There they go, they start coming down quickly. I'm hoping to remove their fast-moving troops first, and that way we can kite effectively, because uh, their, their uh, hoplites and stuff are, are pretty slow. So, we have a few light infantry units to deal with, though. So... I do target the Sogdians just because, man, they will do some work. <laughs> they have 11 melee attack. That's pretty brutal. 62 weapon damage. So, I get cheeky here. We're going to go ahead and come in with a little charge. Hoping to catch them unaware and 
take out a few of them. Which actually does work. Take out about 20. So, um, so at this point, we turn and start firing the Sugdans. And I'm thinking, alright, you know what? Bactrian and Helmet aren't going to chew through too many, so I think we just stand our ground. So go ahead, get a charge in. Seems like they didn't get a charge on her. I think they were trying to face off against uh, our slingers here. We do get charges over this way. These guys got a little wrapped up here. No charges there. The Sogdians tearing downhill, and they're coming in pretty fresh. So uh, immediately I'm going to swing around. We do get some red morale right off the bat, so I'm like, oh, well, let's take advantage of it. It's from all that slinger fire, and we bring in the noble horse archers. Crashing into them. Crashing into the hoplites as well. They're not going to get too many kills, so even though we won't kill them, they won't retaliate too well either. So, over here, uh, we stay in combat a little bit because I'm not really taking any damage against these guys. They don't really have any way of tearing my guys down with all that sweet armor. So, pull out to either flank, and we're going to go ahead and start targeting. I'm targeting the Sogdians just because, man, they are, again, I cannot stress enough, they will destroy my infantry. <laughs> I decided to pull out then, because we have some hillmen coming in, and we're going to do some cycle charges to take care of those guys. So, we pulled out with the noble horse archers. Getting a little charging here. Um, our infantry is starting to get hit pretty hard, but that's alright. Not too worried about it. If we lose our infantry, we have enough ammunition and uh, cavalry charges to deal with it. So... We're going to go ahead and wrap around here and get some charges. The slingers start targeting the hoplites. And, uh, let's see, over here, how are Sogdians doing? They got 10 kills, but we've killed quite a few of them so far. Over here, we get our charges in. Just a complete surround into the hillmen. And we get two charges in with our noble horse archers. Pop a rally in there to stabilize these guys if we can. We break them, which is great. And we're going to start targeting. Going to bring the horses around. And prepare to charge in. So over here we have uh, engaged with the general, but he's not going to kill enough quickly. So we pull away from that quite easily. Sensing some weaknesses, we move in for the kill. And that is pretty brutally effective. The uh, Kinsman Cav doing quite well. I really like these guys. They're very tough. Another cheeky charge into the rear of the hoplites here. And these guys have just been getting annihilated. I mean, we have a, actually a pretty good amount of kills on these guys. I think they were fighting the uh, hillmen, though. Probably not too many on the Greek colonists, but with the slinger fire, just brutal. Um, I do pull away from these colonists here, and they're like, all right, well, we're not going to catch you. So they turn around, and I'm like, hey, if you want to show your back to my slingers, go for it. Not too much left here. Um, this unit has still stuck around, barely. Uh, it's pretty surprising, but we'll see how long they stick around. We're gonna go ahead and reinforce them with the levies, and there we go. They finally break, but they fought valiantly against superior troops. Get another charge in here with that triple charge between the horse archers and the uh, levies. Should be enough to break these guys. Over here, just firing away, tearing into them. Pretty brutal. It's a very cheap unit taking out a pretty tanky one. I always love that. <laughs> love to see it. You really just love to see it. These guys getting wrapped up a little bit. They're going to break, but not a huge deal. Yvonne Guard here is following uh, our slingers to no avail. They're trying to tank out our missile fire, but even to the front, after a while, the slingers are going to do their work. So... It's looking like a pretty good wrap-up for us. We go ahead and take those guys out, and we're going to try and kill as many as we can. Um, get some charges in here. These hoplites getting surrounded. We're looking at pretty bad morale all around. I think we're going to pull out here, but we do get some more rear fire. Bring in with the horse archers. Just surround, charge, slinger fire. The general here, all that slinger fire, tearing him away killing him and with a few units left those cycle charges are enough to take him out so it's another victory for Parthia and a devastating blow to the power of Bactria out of my lands Bactria
death to you. All right. Release captives, get that money. And we'll keep replenishing. Um, honestly, I'm thinking... Yeah, okay, sweet. We have the ability to get some better infantry, which would be great. Because uh, these guys are garbage. <laughs> they are pure garbage. Um, wow, we have a ton of money, too, now. Oh, sweet. Okay, well, soon, soon Bactria will meet its demise. Let's do a little scouting around here. Full army. Okay. We will see. Maybe we are better off taking... Ooh, they have more territory? Ah, far out this way. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we swoop out and take Bukhara first. Try to draw them into combat. We'll see. Um, but anyways, I think we're going to end the episode here. So, uh, nice development here. That's what you get for releasing troops. <laughs> you get them on your good side, and then you could confederate. So things are looking a little bit better for Parthia here. Uh, we'll see. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Parthia campaign, where we continue to press Bactria and hopefully start taking their lands.